we have been crunching through the numbers. But where does Labour say the money is coming from? Well, it estimates an extra tax take of £48.6 billion. Let's break that down a bit. Income tax first. Higher earners will pay more. And we're talking about roughly the top 5% of earners. We reckon that's about 1.2 million people. Earnings above £80,000 will be taxed at 45%, with a new 50% rate on earnings above £123,000. Labour says this will raise £6.4 billion per year. But the biggest increase in tax take, according to Labour's plans, will come from an increase in corporation tax, a tax on business profits. It's currently 19% and Labour plans to increase that rate to 26% by 2021. Once that's done, Labour says its corporation tax plans will raise £19.4 billion per year. Now, Labour itself acknowledges that companies and individuals change their behaviour when tax rates change. And you also have to take account of the overall health of the economy. Raising tax rates doesn't always increase the overall tax take as much as predicted. There are other measures to raise revenue. VAT on private schools, for example, and a levy on what Labour calls excessive pay, starting with a 2.5% levy paid by employers on pay packets over, over £330,000. The manifesto also says £6.5 billion will be raised from an aggressive programme to crack down on tax avoidance. Now, political parties always say they'll do that, and it can be done, but it's a pretty inexact science. Overall, though, Labour says it can finance all its current spending plans through changes in the tax system. £48.6 billion out, £48.6 billion in. Does that add up? And they're suggesting a £50 billion increase in tax, which if it were to be implemented, by the way, would take the tax burden of this country to the highest level it's been in about 70 years. Uh, but, actually, I think there's an awful lot of uncertainty about whether you could actually raise that amount of tax. They're talking about very, very large increases in taxes on companies, which would likely reduce the amount of investment that they do. So I think the actual amount you could get from these policies certainly runs into the tens of billions, but probably doesn't reach the 50 billion that Labour are claiming. So that's tax, but there are also big plans for investment spending, all those nationalisation plans you've heard about, the railways, the Royal Mail and so forth. Labour says it will borrow money to pay for future investment. It's talking about a national transformation fund of £250 billion. But there is no detailed costing of nationalisation plans in the manifesto. That will be the source of controversy and political debate. But Labour does make one bold promise. It says it's committed to ensuring that the national debt is lower at the end of the next parliament than it is today.